the smile on your face says it all. How does it feel to be back at Middlesbrough? It feels great. It's a mix of uh, emotions and uh, memories, but it feels great. The challenge is fantastic to update our identity from the tea side, and then uh, we all are ready for for starting to work. You're coming back to the club in a slightly different role than before. You're working under this new coaching team with Jonathan Woodgate. How did it come about for you? How did the move happen? Yes, it was a different role, and then I was surprised and proud for Goody choose me and the and the club support the idea because Goody knows too many names, too many people, so it's really difficult to be one of the the guys and the and the staff. Well, he he get make the, the, this decision and, uh, and we make sure that I show that up the water like people see this big iceberg, iceberg calling Leo and people see the passion, the love, the desire but under the water still a Leo with knowledge, with experience, with some talent and I know Woody knows that from behind the, the scenes and the training and the dressing room so this is the time and I have to, to show I'm much, I'm much more than not only passion, still passion under the water too, but but I'm much more than that, and then uh, I'm so proud. I I will honour that. Because mm-hmm. obviously you're working back in Brazil for you know for a very big club in itself. Was it a difficult decision to come back to Middlesbrough? When Boro, always when it's Boro, when Boro rings, so with the heartbeat is very strong. It's hard to say no. I just just want to make sure that. Uh, that is not here only because I'm a good lad, good boy or friendly man. It's because I have the talent for to do the job. Because we all want is the best for this club. And when you don't have a price, the values in your life have no numbers. So to come here with passion, with love, with desire, to try to help, to try to recover all the identity that we have lost in the last time, it's a, it's a, it's a work. It's a, it's a challenge that they make you improve. They make you feel. Don't think about. Just come because you have all support. We have all support from the, from the club, from the manager. We work as a unit, and then for sure, I know for sure, we want to have all the support from the fans, because, the fans they will recognize themselves, in this team, in this manager, in this, in this club that they, they will represent them in the field, the way we, we want to represent. What is a T-side with a T-pride? Because you've always had a fantastic relationship with the fans right from day one, really. And I think we saw that last time you came to the Riverside just, just over two years ago, that, that how strong that bond has remained. So is that something that you can you can bring to this coaching team, even though you're not from T-side, you're very much a T-sider? I'm a T-sider. Yeah. I feel that. Uh, that's a matter where you were born. The important is where... What you feel inside of you. Some people were born in different cities and they don't feel anything. Some people were born and they, they felt. But I feel I'm decided. I recognize my identity with them. And that was a true since the beginning. I never spoke with their fans. We have a relationship of communicating what we express in the field, in the training, in the, in the games, in the trips. So that, that's why we identify in each other. Passion, love, desire, let's do it. We want to win. We want to make this a great place, a great club like it is. So uh, the idea is put the strong again, the Riverside Fortress. And then every team, when they come in here, they, they dread. And they will be so, you know, we have uh, this loyal, loyal army supporting us. And then they will know how difficult it will be to get a point here. Yeah. So this is, this is our challenge. And then uh, we know the fans that will be right behind us. And we hope, and they, when we prove, that we know that we were right behind them in the pitch when we're coming into the field and every training, because the players in every training, they will feed that from the manager, from the coach. You see today Woody in, the, in the, his, uh, his speech in the, in the press conference, how way he's playing, the identity, what he wants, and we all want the same. So. We have a great manager, mm-hmm. and we need to follow him. And we have a great uh, chairman too. And we had a great fan, so we have to do a great job. That's the time. We need the time. We need the patience because it's not happen for tomorrow, but it's starting to happen now. Mm-hmm. And that is that is 
that's a fantastic. And there's plenty to be excited about. And obviously, you've won promotion once with Borough again. How good would it be to do that again? That would be fantastic. <laughs> when I close my eyes, I remember that day. Oh my God. How much we shake, how much the people in, 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 came into the field, how much all the city felt. That is fantastic. Something like you, you, you want this happen again. And then we were more ambition. You can see with it. We just we want to be promoted, but we want to be champions too. Yeah. We need to build. So I repeat, we need the patience. We need the time. But we go. We go in the right direction. We go. We go together.